Hello everyone, Constantine here. Had a post from a friend, Earl, on the Max Proud channel, and he posted some questions, there's 10 of them, and he was trying to get a response to the questions, whether it was typed out or verbally, so I'm going to try to verbally answer those 10 questions and try to uh, give as much insight as I can in, in a few minutes. Uh, the first question Earl posted was, why the bass? And the second one was, did you play or start out on the guitar before the bass? So I'm going to answer both those in one. Uh, I started off in grade 9 on the tuba. Um, the fat kid always gets to play the tuba, so I wore that stigma for five years in high school, grade 9 through 13. Uh, enjoyed playing the tuba, but at the end of the first year in grade 9, I was given the opportunity to start playing bass or to try to learn and that's really how it started. Um, I guess prior to that I was always an air drummer. Wish I could play drums. Guitars, air guitar, same thing, but uh, meat hooks, too big for guitar. Uh, bass that just kind of fit right in there. So really, uh, the tuba, it led right into the bass, reading the bass clef, same notes, same uh, rhythmic patterns, so it was really easy. Uh, converting over, it was just learning where they were on the neck. Um, the third question was, uh, what is your main bass right now? Um, I don't know if I really have a main one right now. One that I've really enjoyed playing was uh, an SX bass that I got uh, from Rondo Music, and it was 135 bucks American, shipped to Canada, shipping and that's expensive, but it's a nice looking playing bass. So, I've done a lot of videos lately playing that, so maybe that's my main one right now. It's the cheapest bass I've ever had and one of the nicest playing basses I've ever played. So um, hats off to them, a good quality uh, instrument. Uh, question four, do you prefer a four string, five string, or a six string, or more? I've never done anything more than a six string. I love playing six, playing five, but it has to start off with four. Um, four sometimes is all you need but as Earl mentioned in his videos uh, once the 80s came around and some alternate tuning happened and those bass synthesizers lower notes uh, there was a need to drop your your uh, string either your E down or play with uh, with a low B or the high C if you're on the sixth string uh, but I love playing the four um, it's what I learned it's what I'm most comfortable with uh, next to that would be probably uh, a six string, um, although my chops aren't as good as they used to be. But we'll just leave it at the four right now. And uh, who were, uh, who was your first bass mentors? Going back, uh, and I've talked about this before. Uh, Steve Harris from Iron Maiden and Getty Lee from Rush, both uh, the summer of 1980. Killers was out and Moving Pictures from Rush and just fell in love with what they were doing. One was speed, Steve Harris uh, galloping two fingers and Getty with the, the melody, uh, really interesting to play and fun and really challenging. Uh, but those are really probably where it started. McCartney back there too, but uh, I, I'm gonna just leave it with Steve Harris and Getty Lee. Uh, what finger playing style do you like the most? I'm a two man. Uh, plucker and my thumb. Um, sometimes there's three and sometimes I even bring out my ring finger and play and it really started when I was reading books I would just pick up anything I could find and read and it didn't matter if it was treble clef I'd convert the notes to bass clef and keep playing but I learned that um, they were they assigned letters P I am in A. Sorry, I didn't mean to stick my finger up like that, but P-I-M-A. And as you read the music, they were telling you which of the four fingers to use. So I think it's why I've used my thumb a lot when I'm playing low. Um, and it's just, it's natural for me. I don't think about it when I'm playing. It's just, it feels comfortable to use my thumb opposed to dropping down and I can mute the strings better. I, I, it just happens. Um, but that's how I do. I, I can't use a pick. I've tried. Uh, I just don't know how to mute the strings and it sounds 
the, the sound, the tone sounds great, but I, I can't play with the pickup. I, I, I just can't do it. And uh, thumping or thumb slapping and that was never any of my style to learn. Uh, I don't intend on learning to thumb slap or tapping notes on the bass. Uh, I've seen very talented musicians on YouTube do it and hats off to them, but uh, I'll stick to the two finger, three finger, whatever you want to call it, and play that way and try to do a better job at that than trying to learn different techniques that at 48 years old, you know, I, I don't have the patience for that anymore. Uh, what style of music do you like playing bass to? I think it's, there's really not one particular thing that I don't play. Um, as you can see from my channel, having over 1,100 videos now on bass covers, I'll do anything. Julio Iglesias, George Michael, Iron Maiden, it doesn't matter. Blues, rock, metal, just if I can get the music and read it, I'll play it. So I'll do anything, just as long as I can get the sheet, mes uh, sheet music to play along, um, I'm, I'm happy. So, um, yeah, I, I think really deep down I do really enjoy kind of the bluesy type playing um, kind of where you're not really structured and the bass is just happening in the background but there's some flexibility that you can maybe do some patterns of of notes that you know harmonize with the guitar maybe or a keyboard or a piano player um, that's really fun to do but um, I think the blues probably, but you know, growing up it was always metal and rock, you know, whether it was ACDC, Def Leppard, didn't matter, like that, that's what was uh, playing in the 80s, basically in high school, 80 through 85, so, you know, the police, Springsteen, Asia, you know, there's a large variety of music that I listen to, and I enjoy it and listen to it every day now, so... There's really nothing in particular, but I'll, I'll play anything. Um, question eight, uh, do you play an upright bass, synthesizer bass? No, um, never tried synthesizer bass. And upright, sometimes when you go to a music store you see one, but I've never tried really. Um, be a nice challenge. It'd be good to work on some ear training and learning your positions on the upright. And if you can get your chops down, that would be an amazing thing to do. But never really been uh, subjected to it, so I, I really can't say that I ever tried. Uh, I'd like to. I wish I could, but no. Uh, no upright or synthesizer bass. Uh, question 9. Do you play by ear, read notation, tablature? Um, early, uh, 80s, you know, right through, probably around 86, 87, it was mostly by ear. There wasn't the resources that we have today available pretty well anywhere on the internet. It was wherever you can find some type of um, music to help you, but it was really, uh, I can remember the cassette tapes and the records just picking up and rewinding it and trying to learn the notes and write them down. Um, I don't do a lot of uh, by ear anymore. Um, I don't have the greatest of ears. They, they are, they're always plugged up. Um, kind of got a head cold right now. and um, Yeah, don't have the patience that I did when I was young. Um, deals, uh, you know, I deal with a lot of crap. So, um, yeah, playing by ear. I can hear mistakes and things like that, but not to do a song from beginning to end. Uh, read notation, absolutely. Uh, I read more music books than I would a magazine or a novel book just give me a book it doesn't matter what instrument it is I just like to read the notes and uh, if I have to convert from treble to bass if I have to move up an octave down an octave um, yeah it, it keeps my brain sharp um, and the more I do it the more better I get at reading the music it's uh, like riding a bike you kinda not forget it but if you don't do it enough uh, it seems like you're pedaling uphill uh, and tablature, not a big, big fan of tabs. Uh, I've seen good tabs, bad tabs. 
Uh, sometimes that's all you can find, but uh, tr I try to avoid the tabs at all. Um, I like to play where I like to play on the base, usually on the middle of the deck. I don't want someone telling me uh, I've got to do it in the first fret on the third string, say an E flat. I might want to play it on the second string on the sixth fret and move around there. So, uh, not big in tabs. Um, it's not really a way to tell you if, you know, is it a half note, quarter note? Uh, sharp flat it just doesn't really tell you anything just somebody's interpretation on where they would play uh, the notes so I avoid those um, lately I've been uploading um, the bass notes that I've been playing uh, using guitar pro and writing out the notes and also the tab uh, so people can follow along I get a lot of requests for bass scores on songs that I've covered and it just seems it's more of a routine that I'm doing now. I'll write out the music using the program and upload them both for the bass uh, note readers and the tab people and uh, I get a, a really good response with that and, and I enjoy sharing uh, that with with the YouTube viewers and uh, I wish we kind of had those things when we were trying to learn to play couple weeks ago you know we never had that technology <laughs> uh, is there an instrument uh, question 10 that you don't play that you wish you could and there's a lot of instruments I wish I could play um, piano I really wish I could just sit down and enjoy the 88 keys and make melodies and things like that but it um, doesn't happen and like I said my meat hooks only can bend so much uh, the keys are small and that, that would be something I would like, but if if I could wave a magic wand and say this is the instrument that I'm going to play, uh, it would be the cello. I really, really like the cello. Um, I think growing up, uh, my father had uh, classical music, and that's kind of what we listen to priority all the time. Oh. Coming in on channel. There we go, priority message. That can wait. Um, sorry. Um, Growing up listening to classical music, I mean, uh, I, I guess it's part of like the bass. I, I was drawn to the notes of the cello, and uh, Rostopovich um, was a Russian celloist conductor that I would always, I can remember my dad putting on and and listen, and we would watch it on uh, WNIB. It was a Buffalo station. Um, there was concert and things like that and I was saying geez I wish I could play something like that but it was very classical and uh, very difficult to say the least and then uh, probably in the last decade and a half uh, Yo-Yo Ma has kind of made it more of a sexier instrument and some of the videos he does uh, with the landscapes in the background yeah I really really could see myself trying to learn that um, but patient wise I, I yeah, it'd be difficult, but I, I would like to try. But I know the real side of my brain is saying, no, it'll never happen because A, you don't have a cello, and, and I know I don't have the patience to try to learn something new where I'm still learning to play the bass. And that's really my focus is to continue to get better on the bass and try to do a better job with my songs. And um, hopefully, people can learn from it as I learn from musicians that I watch on YouTube. So those were the 10 questions. Again, I'm going to put the link down below. Uh, Earl from Max Proud channel who posted the 10 questions. Uh, you should go check out his channel. Does some great um, reviews on basses. He's always uh, buying basses. He's always at the music stores. Uh, kind of giving his uh, thumbs up or thumbs down. Uh, anything from a, an inexpensive base all the way to, uh, you know, in the thousands of dollars. And, you know, just kind of sh it shows you what's available out there with the different budgets that people have. And not everyone can afford the thousand dollar base. And you got to start off with uh, something inexpensive. And, you know, he gives you his input and shows you the styles, the type of wood, just reviews the whole thing. And it, it's really well done. So hats off to Earl for doing that and uh, for posting this um, base, base questions and 
and uh, for people to answer and follow along and hopefully you learn something from maybe the people that you're watching. So for now, it's Constantine signing off and uh, thanks Earl again for uh, thinking this up. Cheers.